Yo, what's going on, friends? It's TJ. This is another episode of THC and NFTs, and we're back. And today, I'm giving away a secret session NFT. I'm giving away $100 in crypto, and I'm also going to give away another $50 in crypto to three different winners. And all three of these winners will also get whitelist spots. Um, but on today's episode, before we get into that, I want to talk about how PFPs are dead. And how 2022 is the year of the utility. Now, before I get too far into that, I need to get my mind right so I can get y'all right with how I think in my mind. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to be smoking up a little bit on this pink cookies right here. We can get that to focus. There we go. I'm going to smoke up a little bit on that. And so then just bear with me. Time to get a little high. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> I'm getting red like a tomato. All right, so let's jump right back into it. So what do I mean when I say the PFP is dead? Now, I'm not talking about, you know, your, your big name art project with a reputable artist or artists who continue to put out art continuously, not just one time, but continuously. Yes, those, those might not be dead. They may live on, but I'm talking about <coughs> your standard project PFP, play to earn. <coughs> it, it's, it's so boring. It's outdated. It, it's NFTs are so much more. And the future of NFTs are now. Um, this still may, we still may be very early <coughs> in the space and we are all early adopters. But the future of NFTs are now. <coughs> and why do I say that? <coughs> Well, that's, you know, <clears throat> a lot of these new projects, uh, they're coming out with passive incomes in forms of brick and mortar stores. They're coming out with real world utilities, things that can be used in the real life as well as in the metaverse. Um, let's take the donut shop, which I recently minted in, in the topic. Uh, they are going to be a brick and mortar uh, store, hope possibly a franchise. And they're also going to be giving out donuts for life to all their holders. And we'll be making passive income from the residuals from the donut shop. Yes, the floor did go, the floor is one third of what mint price was. But I'm not worried about that. There was a lot of FUD in the community and that's fine. This is a long play project for me and I understand that. But let's think more about what utilities can be. My, my mind just ponders on the endless concepts of what utilities can be um i was listening to a, a podcast uh the nft 365 podcast and he brought on lauren and she was talking about how they were giving appetizers away as nfts and these nfts utilities were free appetizers and that that was brilliant you know you went there six times you got a free appetizer um but like i said in my opinion, PFPs are dead. And if your project's just a PFP, I'm not hating on you. I just think there needs to be more to it. There is so much more going on with projects now. It, it's it's crazy. And uh, I'll speak on uh, three projects that I'm currently a big fan of. Um, one, first, let me talk about Bapes Clan. Bapes Clan, you know, they're a new project that... Uh, came out and they have blown the fuck up and there's good reason why uh Bapes clan they have about 21 uh announced and doxed uh ambassadors that are potential team members and 
uh, people that are going to be working with Bapes and are part of Bapes. And if you look at the Bapes LinkedIn page, they have, uh, it says anywhere from about 11 to 50 uh, workers there. So this is a really big project with a lot of really big names, ranging from, uh, let's see, Cam Jordan, all the way down to David Meltzer. Um, there's CEOs, executive, vice presidents uh, in these ambassadors, and this project looks huge. And they, they talk about wanting to bring something to the metaverse that's never been brought. Uh, they, they, they're, take, they, they're talking about buying a first uh, you know, 24 by 24 plot of land in the sandbox, building uh, mansions, commercial districts, residential areas, babes hotels, airports, massive mall, uh, yeah, 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 and we're all gonna make passive income from the mall, and that was from a little leak. It sounded like through the uh Bapes A AMAs, which they have constantly. Um, one of the uh, I think it was Mo, and he was someone was talking about how any person who owns a storefront inside of the Bapes Mall. When they pay rent, that rent is going to go to the holder's wallet. Now, on top of this, they are, uh, they are going to buy a planet, and the planet will, be, will only have access to BAPE holders where we can build and evolve and connect and earn. They're going to do a DAO as well, but their DAO is more aimed towards the holders. So BAPE NFT holders can present an investment opportunity and we can cast our vote. Um, I like how they put it right here. A Kickstarter meets traditional VC funds and it's a million times better. And the last thing I want to lead off with with BAPES is uh, some of the uh, industries that they've partnered with they have the biggest names in hospitality, aviation, real estate, automotive, clothing, beauty, and many more industries to come. So if you're thinking of this as an exclusive club, which I'm thinking of, and to me, this sounds like huge, huge utilities with the partners and the ambassadors that are part of this program. I mean, if we even have access to some of these things, it'll be amazing. Uh, they also talk about how we will be able to uh, work, you know, alongside of these ambassadors. And we can ask them questions because we are, you know, uh, part owners of this BAPES plan, BAPES metaverse. It's, I really like what BAPES are doing, the BAPES clan. And, you know, big shout out to, uh, what was it? Mm. Rowan Mezero, Rowan Mezero, yes, with Mez Entertainment. I will leave a link to her Twitter. Um, she is an amazing individual who uh, I recently stumbled across through uh, a, a Twitter space with Bape's Clan. She is a music executive, and the links she goes through to her for her clients as an executive and you know an owner of her own company is is phenomenal she has no quit her drive is amazing and she is the way i got my whitelist so huge shout out to you i appreciate you so much and i love you so much thank you for the opportunity to join this babes clan and hopefully help serve this community but until then I'm just super stoked, genuinely stoked on the project because this is where NFTs are going. This is the future of NFTs. You know, the possibility that to be able to can maybe get a commercial flight, you know, or stay at a fancy hotel or, or places that would be typically members only. But because we are Bates holders and affiliated with these members, maybe we may have potential to access a lot of this. So let's, I guess I can show <coughs> a little sneak peek of what they've been showing us. <coughs> Here's one of their pictures. 
I love the art. It is a cool, uh, like geometric type <coughs> of look, and I really dig it. Um, these will be your avatars, and they will be the way you will access the Bape's metaverse and access into the sandbox. Um. I'm genuinely a really big fan of the uh, geometric look. I think it brings a good f feeling of unity in it. I, I don't know. It brings me peace. That that's how I feel. But their utility is going to be so many more things that I can't even begin to think about where they're at. Um. Let's talk about another project I am really, really bullish on. And that is Everfire NFTs. Uh, why am I bullish on Everfire NFTs? Um, I'm bullish on Everfire NFTs. They're, they are planning to become the first NFT uh, network and record label. They plan on becoming two entities. And this this right here is an amazing combination of uh, music and passive income by holding NFTs because we will essentially be rewarded dollars uh, from the earnings that Everfire makes. And on top of that, as a holder of Everfire NFTs, you will have a say in what artists uh, the company moves forward with. You'll have a say in what producer they use. They also plan on giving out other real world utilities, such as uh, items from uh, the, the musician, you know, and being able to go to uh, their concerts, having exclusive concerts uh, for their artists. Uh, I, I'm really stoked on the possibility, you know, of artists being able to earn what they deserve and at the same time as a listener and as someone who supports the artist by buying their music uh, gets rewarded for supporting them. It is such a mutual engagement that I am so excited when this comes live. I really believe in this project and this has a potential to be around for a long time. Um, and if you don't know, uh, Nate Trillo is a big backer on this project. He really supports this project. And before Nate Trillo came out and was talked that he openly supported this project, this project was genuine. This project, <coughs> there was no invite competitions. <coughs> this project's been <coughs> building. It's at 2,500 members right now. <coughs> and it's all organic. <coughs> this is all by word of mouth. <coughs> There's been no competitions yet, but <coughs> I'll tell you what, <coughs> if you leave a comment on this video and tell me what you like most about Everfire NFT, I might just give you a whitelist. I got one whitelist to give from Everfire and I want it to be to someone who genuinely likes this project. So do your research on this project and if you like it, leave a comment in here. On this video and tell me why you like it and if I vibe with what you're feeling and I really think you know you did your own research and you're hyped on this project I will reward you with the whitelist um, so yes I am super bullish on Everfire NFT because utility 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 I'm tired of the same old PFP I think that it shit is dead we are so far past it and now for all you stoners out there as you know, this is a stoner's channel. I am a stoner myself. Uh, I gotta go back to my good old secret sesh. Secret sesh NFT. For me, that is the NFT for, <coughs> for the stoners. So they are gonna, they talk about doing a lot besides their real world utility of having access to every event they throw. And let me tell you now, they've been throwing events for a long time, for about 10 or 11 years now. Very successful events. Very successful weed events. 
Uh, they can take any type of event you give them and make it successful because they are genuinely fun, loving people, and they are creative, and they can they can adapt, they can embrace, they can they are infectious, and when I say that, it's because it, when you're around them, you can't help but be joyful and wanna join in. So that's why I know this project's gonna be successful because the founders. They know what you what community wants, and they know how people and uh, I guess the the weed industry connect. They are, you know, the middleman. They they make us. They they put us on a level playing field, and it's beautiful. And they are gonna throw in real life events and virtual events. Um, they talked about uh, stemming away from your typical cannabis event sometimes. While cannabis will always be the backbone of every event they throw, who knows? They might have a crypto or they might have an NFT, a creative NFT event or a, you know, an NFT artists event. But who knows? The, the possibility with Secret Sesh and their events are endless. Um, so they will also, you know, have staking and passive income, but... For me, it's all about the utility. I love the aspect of exclusivity. Not <coughs> in the manner of, oh, look, I'm better than you. <coughs> but <coughs> there's with so many people <coughs> in the world, <coughs> it's nice that I can find an exclusive club of like-minded individuals who appreciate and have the same values that I do. And I feel that that's what this is in the secret session. I am a stoner and these are my people and my people smoke weed and dab and eat edibles and use tinctures and smoke concentrates and, you know, grow weed. And we are rough riders and we are rebels and we go against the grain. And I love that about the secret sesh. So. Oh, where am I at? Hold on. So yeah, that's why I, I'm super bullish, you know, I, I'm super bullish on real world utility. I'm super bullish on jam on a NFT that changes the concept of your typical utility. Um, so like right there, I gave you three great ones. Secret Sesh in real life utility is phenomenal. Uh, Ever fires music concept for their nft it's it's game changing it, it it is uh you know a whole new door for the nft verse and vapes massive 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 team of docs ambassadors and what they do and how accomplished individuals they are themselves is unheard of. It's something that's never been done in the space, and every vape uh, holder will be an affiliate to this Meta Investors clan of mega, mega, mega whales, I guess, and mega, you know, influencers and creators and founders and people at the forefront, and it's gonna be amazing. So that's what I'm talking about, people. Get away from that boring old NFT. Go do your own research and find some badass shit like this. Um, now, after I'm done rambling for as long as I've rambled, let's go pick... <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now, where are we at? <clears throat> oh, I guess I, I got a little too high, but here's Everfire's roadmap. Um, I will leave a link to the roadmap because it is very, very in-depth roadmap. I will leave a link to the roadmap uh, in my description, and you can go check that out. But let's get right back. To the uh, giveaways. So, 
I think we'll do I think we'll do the NFT uh winner first because there was very very little entries to the NFT and and if you left a comment in that video I gave everyone an entry it, it, I I just want everyone to have a chance to win. I I really want y'all to come to the space even if it means on my own dime if that's what it takes to get you in to push the damn button and get an NFT. Yes, it is be on my dime and I'll be sending everything to you. You won't have to pay for gas or any of that, but you will have to unhide it so you can see it. Um if that's what it takes, that's what it takes and I'm more than happy to do that. So here <clears throat> are the names. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven, seven entries. Seven people commented on the video. I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, but we're still gonna run it as is. So let me put these names in. If you left a comment on the video, you have a chance of winning. And the winner is 2K Coach. 2K Coach. Congrats, man. Girl, bud, friend. Yes, 2K Coach. You won an NFT on Mint Day. When Secret Chest NFT mints, I will personally airdrop you an NFT free of gas. So all you got to do is hit me up. Um, shoot me a DM and leave me your uh, public ETH address and when it goes live this will happen and also bud you got a whitelist to the secret session of T so if you want to mint yourself you can um, now let's go next next alright so next is our uh, first and second place ETH or soul crypto winners um, I left a tweet on February 3rd. Uh, here it was. Giveaway. Two winners. First. Second. Follow me. Follow Secret Session NFT. Retweet. It was that simple. Um, so let's run it. We got two winners. So how we're going to do this is, <clears throat> is the name that's on top is going to win the 100. And the name that comes in second is going to win the $50. All right. Everybody ready? Y'all ready for that? <clears throat> Let's run it. Begin draw. So we got Perros and NFT Flaco. All right. Congratulations. Uh, make sure you hit me up in Twitter. Shoot me a DM. Um, I'll hit you up uh, when I post this video and get at you. Uh, it'll go live today sometime. Uh, today is Thursday for me. It's 4.35 p.m. now. Uh, so I'll have this up in a couple hours. And yeah, congrats. So that's all I have today. Um, I know it was a little bit of a long video and I appreciate y'all if you stuck with me. But remember, think differently. Do not go for your standard hyped PFP project. Cause yeah, and, and sometimes you might get a quick flip, but the longevity of those projects are gonna be a crash and burn. The Board 8 Yacht Club, uh, you know, punks, uh, doodles, uh, these, are very unique projects. Um, if your PFP did not come out in 2021 and you're trying to launch one now, I think you're gonna struggle to connect with the buyer, with the consumer, which is me and I believe a lot of my audience. Um, so thank you everyone for watching. Uh, make sure, uh, Perros and NFT Flaco, make sure you both hit me up. And 2K Coach, you too. Um, until next time, everyone, have a good night and peace out.